All right, good morning from Wulu Mulu Bay here in Sydney, Australia. And as you can see behind me, there's some naval ships. This is home to a naval base here in Sydney, and I am very close to an area known as Potts Point. And uh, yesterday I was in Bondi Beach where I happened to get this souvenir it's, uh, hoodie, I guess is what you call it. And I was talking to an Australian named Amber, and I asked her, I said, why do you guys come up with these crazy names called like Wulu Mulu, you know? And she said, well, she said, we like to hear the Americans try to pronounce them. So just for you, Amber, one more time, Wulu Mulu. <laughs> anyway, I didn't come here to talk about Wulu Mulu Bay. I came here to uh, share a very special place with you here at, that I found on a morning walk the other day. It's called Harry's Cafe de Wheels. And when I walked by it the other day, I knew it was something special right away. It has all these beautiful pictures on the outside of famous celebrities. And uh, it, it just looks like an incredible place to eat. So talking about a mouthful, Wulu Wulu, let's go get a mouthful of, uh, of Harry's Pies. That's what he's famous for, Harry's Pies. So let's go on over to uh, Harry's Cafe de Wheels. All right, there's Harry's Cafe de Wheels here in Wulu Mulu Bay in Sydney, Australia. And I was reading up on the story of Harry's Cafe de Wheels, and it started back in the uh, late 1930s, and the, the world was on the brink of a devastating war, and there was the, uh, the Depression when this gentleman named, uh, from Sydney, no doubt, named Harry Edwards opened the Caravan Cafe near the front gates of the Wulu Mulu Naval Dockyard. And word quickly spread with Harry's pie and peas and crumb sausages soon becoming a popular part of the city nightlife, keenly sought by sailors, soldiers, cabbies, starlets, and coopers alike, coppers alike. Harry operated the caravan until 1938 when he enlisted in the AIF during World War II. So you can see the uh, you can see the wall here. It's got just pictures. There's a picture of of Harry right here, Harry Tiger Edwards wearing his tiger stripe tie. Hopefully, I can give you a nice picture of Harry. There you go. So there's Harry, and then all throughout here you have different celebrities that have come here and had something to eat. I'm sure you'll probably recognize some of them. There's a shot under the uh, under the awning of the old wharf around 1938 having a good time. Reminds me of a question from the Book of Questions and that is if you could go back in time to any period without returning to the present would you do so and what period of time would you go back to? So I don't know that 1938 would be the uh, be the era that I would definitely go back to, but just continuing along, looking at some of these pictures, I noticed that there is actually a plaque up here saying National Trust Classified Harry's Cafe de Wheels. Look at that. So quite a uh, quite an interesting place to come and have a have a bite to eat, and you can see none other than. Colonel Sanders came here and enjoyed a pie in 1972. And there's Jack Keith, bewitched, enjoying his job, Harry Circa. So let's just walk around the walk around the restaurant and look at some of the other items they have on the wall here. You can see the original tiger pie, peas, mash, and gravy, and they've got a, a curry pie. Some more pictures and publicity that Harry's Pie has gotten over the years. And here is a wonderful picture here. I think this is the same picture we just saw up on the on the wall there back in 1938. Some guys enjoying a nice looks like a cup of coffee and a and a pie. So Harry has specials, pie and peas, pie mushy peas and sauce and a chili dog and hot chips and as I was uh, coming here to do this video this morning there's actually a crew from Asian uh, Asian television that was doing a 
a video as well. So I'm going to step right on inside this area here, show you this other picture. Here is uh, none other than Elton John holds his press conference at Harry Cafe de Wheels in 1986. So there's Elton John and looks like, uh, who is that? Um, Harry Truman, possibly. No? Rear Admiral David Martin is, is that individual. So the uh, this is the original right here. The original pie, peas, mash, and gravy. Available in lean beef, chicken, and mushroom, vegetable, cheese, beef, curry, curry, chicken, and cheese, and bacon. And that's Harry's favorite right there. So it says uh, that their peas are made with grass-fed lean beef, organically fed chickens, fresh vegetables. Hi, good morning. And there's another picture of, uh, of Harry right there. So they serve an all-day breakfast too. Look at that, bacon and egg roll and a, and a cappuccino. So quite a uh, quite an interesting place to come and enjoy a nice breakfast here in in Sydney for sure. And then I'll give you a nice shot of the of the menu. So if I come in here, you can actually see the the menu up here. I'll zoom in. So the uh, tiger, the special, that will cost you six dollars and seventy cents. And then you have the seafood pie and chips, and the wheel deal, and all types of selections here: beef pie, curry beef pie, cheese and bacon pie, chicken pie. Look at that. So I'm not sure what I'm going to have, but uh, I'm going to have something good, I'm sure. I can maybe give you a view of some of the pies that are getting ready to be served up. There you go. Alright, so let's, uh, let's get something to eat, shall we? I think I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to ask the gal what, uh, what I might have. Good morning. Hi. How are you? I'm uh, thinking of having some breakfast. What 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 do what do most uh, Aussies? That's what they call you folks down here, right? Aussies. Aussies, yeah. Aussies. So what do, what do most Aussies that come here for breakfast have? Um, a lot of people have the bacon and egg roll. The bacon and egg roll. That's uh, this one right there. The bacon and egg roll. Do people have the the famous uh, the the pie and pea the the tiger? Uh, the tiger? Yeah, it's, it's quite a staple breakfast food for many hungover people. So, so people have this for breakfast, huh? Yeah, quite a few people do. So, so you won't think I'm crazy if I get the, the Harry's Special Tiger pie, pie Peas Mash and Gravy for breakfast? Okay, well, we'll see. Maybe or I could come back and have that for dinner, couldn't I? And I could just have the uh, the bacon and egg roll for uh, for breakfast. All right, well, let's do that. Let me get the bacon and egg roll for uh, for breakfast, okay? Thanks. All right, so breakfast has arrived. It's the uh, bacon and bacon and egg roll is what I got for breakfast. I got the Harry's special as its breakfast. Maybe I'll come back later and have some dinner here and try the famous tiger pie with the uh, with the peas and the potatoes and the gravy and all that good stuff. But right now it's breakfast time, and I'm going to enjoy my uh, my bacon and egg breakfast roll. And I got a cappuccino. And uh, it's just a great way to start the day here in Potts Point at Wooloo Wooloo Bay.